is a journey of a thousand miles. I'm really excited to hear it. I love your speeches. This is going to be a very interesting, I know, speech, and he's a great speaker. So let's welcome Matthew Boyce, A Journey of a Thousand Miles. So the title of my speech is A Journey of a Thousand Miles. I took the title from a famous quote by a Taoist philosopher by the name of Lao Tzu. The actual quote is, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And I really want to focus on that single step today. So I will not ask for a show of hands, but I wonder how many of us here have struggled with making a significant change in our lives, whether it was going to the gym, okay, uh, maybe keeping the house in order better, uh, cooking more at home, or watching less TV. We make these New Year's resolution type decisions to change our lives, and we jump in with enthusiasm. But by month four, it becomes more of a chore. I don't know if any of you have had this experience of getting that gym membership, being amped up to go, going for four months or, or two months just religiously, and then a year later going in and sheepishly asking to please cancel my membership because I'm not really using it. It has happened to me. So what I would like to introduce to you today is a process you might be able to use to help make these significant yet difficult changes in your lives. This process is based on the principle of Kaizen. Anyone working with Six Sigma will know what Kaizen is all about. It really is about continual, incremental progress improvement. And it is about taking small steps. So I will reference a book written by a faculty member of UCLA School of Medicine, Thomas, or I'm sorry, Robert Maurer. The book is called One Small Step Can Change Your Life. And he applies the Kaizen principle with his patients to help them change behavior. The first step is to understand why this is so helpful. Because the human brain, according to Dr. Maurer, really resists change. It loves novelty, but change is another matter. So when that gym membership is fresh and new, and you're going that first month, it is novel. It's a fun experience. But by month four, it's not so novel. It represents a real change. And your brain reacts against this. So a way to sidestep that reaction, that struggle with your own brain, is to make it progressive. Start with a very small step, and his approach is first start with a small question. So you could ask a question, for example, what can I do in five minutes to improve my exercise program? Or what can I do in five minutes to make my house tidier? And just ask that question. Don't expect an answer right away. And take your time with that question. Let it percolate for some days. And once you have an answer, then you need to actually imagine doing it. Don't just rush to do it. Actually imagine doing it. Just like an Olympic athlete would imagine performing their event. You need to imagine performing whatever it is you have planned on doing. Finally, you take the action. He gives some very good examples. So for example, if you wanted to keep your house cleaner, you could set your timer for five minutes, and for those five minutes, you will clean your house every night. And you might involve your family as well. But it has to be a small step, very manageable, 
very easy. Again, a five minute tidying of the house is a great example of what his approach is about. Finally, after you have accomplished this, after you've done this for a month or however long you expected to do that, you need to celebrate your achievement. And you need to thank your family members if they helped you and make a big deal out of it. The next step in the process, as you might have guessed, is actually to go back and ask a new question. Again, what small change can I make to make my house a bit cleaner? And again, ask the question for several days and take time to really think that over. Maybe it will be, I can stop putting my dirty clothes on the floor, I can put them in the hamper. And so you will have a happy spouse, most likely, if you make this sort of decision. But make it very easy and very slow, progressive steps are key to this process. I hope that this process is something that might help anyone here perhaps make a significant life change. I highly recommend this book by Robert Maurer. It is called, again, One Small Step Can Change Your Life. Thank you very much.